I'd like to show you how I do second fire on my architecture pieces. I use a, a big brush. This is a three quarter inch sharp square shader. It's half synthetic and half real hair. And I'm going to paint what's behind the wrought iron. I always paint from the back to the front. So I'm gonna use a little bit of blue violet on this yellow and it'll create gray. We want the background to be cooler in the gray family than what's on there already. The yellow is too warm. I'm just putting it on flat. Normally I would pick up my piece, but for the video I think it's best to leave it in one position so you can see mostly what I'm doing. I'm going to put some in the back too. I'm going to go even cooler with a little black and just cool that off to a nice gray too where I want some of these details like shadows and detail, I'm just going to take the edge of the brush and bring out some of these shapes using dark colors. Just to create an area in this beautiful Petit Palais from Paris, my favorite staircase ever. I've painted it many, many times, many different ways. Okay, that's gray enough. And I'm going to use Q-tips to wipe out a few of these lights in here, just to bring out a little bit more of this detail in the background. The way it gets lighter up on here, I can just wipe some light from there. So we paint in too much color and then we wipe out our light. That's the way I paint animals, architecture, mechanism, anything. Anything that I paint, it's always about warm versus cool color. Here's the warm colors, here are the cool colors. And then you overpaint it, meaning paint too much. And then we can clean out See that orangey reddish glow in there, that warmth of the light. I'm just going to wipe that out and give a little hint to the blocks that are making up that arch. Isn't that simple? That could be so much more difficult, but why make things more difficult when you can make it a little bit easier? Now, on the stairs, it's a little more gray as well. I'm going to use black because I have a lot of warm color in here, a lot of yellow. I'm going to just gray it down using black. I use a very limited palette because I know what these colors will do when they work together with each other. If you have 25 different colors in your palette, how do you know what they're going to do when you paint them together? You never learn um, if you have too many. So I like to limit it and then I really know how these colors are going to behave, just like members of your family. That's why I call this the warm family and the cool family. I know how they work together. Okay, I've got enough depth on the stairway. I'm just kind of getting the dark shadow colors off my brush. And I'm gonna put a little more black on the floor down here. I want to highlight the edges of some of these treads on the stairs. The ones that are more up front and close to the viewer are going to be a little bit more detailed naturally. So I'm just going to take out a little bit of color there. Just a hair of a, a little hint of color there. And that's enough. It looks like the stairs go up and around. That's all I want from them. Um, I'm going to leave this part and I'm gonna go right into the wrought iron because that's what everyone wants to see. And I'm going to load up a scroller brush with black and I'm going to paint in where this goes around the bend I'm going to paint it in solid black and then I'm going to wipe out the light because that's a lot easier than painting detail I got some detail in on the first firing I'm not going to do it again I want to keep some things in their first fire state now using a q-tip or cotton swab, 
I'm going to highlight wherever I see light in this right here, in this area. I follow with the, a finger of my left hand and my eye will do what I'm looking at. There's a little bit right there, a little more highlight right on here. And it's like magic. It's like you're turning the lights on in the dark. It's a fantastic technique, I think, in order to get as much of a detailed look without doing a lot of hard work. You put in too much paint and then wipe out the light. Look at that. It looks totally detailed and I'm hardly, I'm not thinking of detail. I'm not putting any in. I'm merely wiping out what I see as light, shapes of light. Okay, this part is done. I'm not going to do much there right now. This part that looks like ribbons of wrought iron, I'm going to add a little more depth with black. Wherever it's very, very dark. This is up here. Wherever you see dark, you paint dark. Then you wipe out the light. And if you need to, you wipe out the light again after that extra black that I put in. To me, it's a very, it's a very fast technique but you get enough detail without working so hard. I'm gonna stop there.